For more on the situation in Egypt, I'm joined by Kurt Volker, former U.S. ambassador to NATO. He's also the current executive director of the McCain Institute for International Leadership. Thanks for joining us and welcome back Thanks, to the Elaine. show. Thanks, Great to be here. Kurt, my first question to you is, is Egypt out of control? I think uh, it's teetering on the edge right now. I think that's why the military intervened and they're trying to gain control. But of course, the military's own action is now prompting this kind of counter reaction from uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and the Islamists, and we're seeing fighting in the streets. So what do you think will, it will take for things to calm down? Because it seems like the military is hurting more than doing good. Well, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, I think um, you had uh, President Morsi heading in a wrong direction, which was really becoming more and more authoritarian in his rule. And so you saw Mubarak replaced by a military transition government. They didn't do well. Replaced by Muslim Brotherhood president. He was then imposing an Islamist view on the country against the will of a lot of the people. What they need to get to is building strong institutions that are really democratic in the way they govern. It's not just about an election. It's about the way that people actually govern. But you have this interim president right now who is making his own moves and installing people and moving things around. Is that still the right direction towards a Western-style democracy of what we think democracy no. is? No. I mean, not at, uh, here's, here's the way to think of it. They were heading in a wrong direction, and the military stopped it. The military has made commitments about what it will now do putting a civilian in charge rather than ruling directly as the military and giving a path towards new elections and, and building institutions again. If they keep to that word, then there is some hope here. But right now, we're going through a very difficult time when they're trying to just get control of security and they're probably going too far in building some of the resentment that you're going to see against the military for some time to come. With the situation unfolding as it is and all the violence that's taking place, is there the possibility that you could see some other sort of insurgent factions jumping in from other regions to try to take advantage of the situation? It's always possible. We've seen it elsewhere in the Middle East that when you have a, an actively confrontational situation, extremists from other parts of the Middle East flow in in order to try to support the Islamist ideal that they have of imposing their view on the rest of society. Always possible. I think in the case of Egypt, though, it is such a strong and such a large country. It's really dominated by its own people. And they themselves are divided between those who support a, a, uh, a secular government and those who would prefer to see an Islamist government. That's what has to be reconciled through democratic institutions of negotiation and passing laws rather than one side or the other assuming all power for itself. Timeline, how quickly do you think we could see a new election? How do you see this playing yeah, out? I, I would think that you might see elections in six to nine months if you're on a quick timeline. It could take a little bit longer. The first thing is to get some stability so that there isn't this ongoing fighting in the streets, and then to announce a clear timeline that everyone can plan toward. So six to nine months would be possible. It may take a bit longer. I think rushing it before then could lead to even more instability again, because you've got to make sure that it gets done right this time. Well, what happens to Mohamed Morsi? What does the future hold for him? Uh, anybody's guess. He's under house arrest right now. Uh, he is still regarded as a leader of the Muslim Brotherhood movement. If he were to be killed or, or uh, assassinated or executed or something, that would probably create an enormous backlash inside of Egypt. So I think he'll remain under some kind of house arrest for the time being. That itself makes him a symbol of a resistance. And you're going to see this continuing contest between the military and the Muslim Brotherhood. And again, I think the only way out is to agree on democratic rules of the road rather than assuming that one side or the other can dominate. All right. Kurt Volker, we appreciate your time and your insight. Thanks for joining us on the My show. Pleasure. Thanks.